Alrighty, getting ready to hit the sand. What do we got here? Got a couple of different Lucky Crafts. See the Super Glow MSM KB, that's already tied on. Some water and some snacks. Got the waders. I gotta get suited up. These are always very important. Flyers. And today we got an extra setup and we're gonna be throwing the Texas rig. So I got a couple of extra uh, four out hooks. Half ounce bullet sinkers. And uh, we're trying this out from Fat Pack Baits. So thank you so much. I've had these for a while, Fat Pack Baits. I'll tell you more about why I decided to bring these today uh, when I get down to the sand. But um, other than that, let's get suited up, ready to go. The biggest change I'm making today, oh, it's clean. Uh, the biggest change I made today is uh, coming with this as a first option, primary option, always for me. And then if I'm getting a lot of eelgrass, I'm going to switch over to the Texas rig pretty quickly. I don't want to mess around. It's just not fun when you spend like a full hour, two hours just casting and all you're getting is grass on every cast. Basically you have close to zero chance of getting on a bite. I am awesome at casting. Dude, there's got to be something in this hole. Got to be. Gotta be. I'm the best fisherman of all time. Jeez. Oh, fish on, guys. Yes. I was just about to say the water's like a lake. There's gotta be something. And that's uh, something bait. It's a halibut bite. Uh, feels smaller, doesn't feel like illegal, but definitely has some weight. He's coming in now. Didn't give up too much of a fight. He's got some head shakes to him. Might be a borderline legal, who knows? Oh, it's a bass, I think. Yeah, it looks like a bass, not a halibut. Decent bass. This is a tricky part here. He might, they like to get unbuttoned right there. But sweet. Stoked to feel the bite. See if we could land them. It's a sand bass. Here we go, guys. On the Lucky Craft Flashman 0110. Phoenix Trifecta Light 903. Alright, guys. Little sand bass. Stoked to beat the skunk. I think there might be more going on here, guys. So we're going to keep moving. Alright, skunk's off the board. Now we just got to try to find the right kind. It took a while. That was, uh, I think, a solid hour. And I probably walked uh, about a mile in that span. So uh, I am getting some eelgrass back. So let's try the Texas rig. And it looks just like that. It's a half ounce bullet sinker. And we got a rig with a 4 aught 4 o hook. And this is from Fat Pack Bait, guys. It's like a little ribbed 3.8 inch swim bait. And let's see what we can do here. Got this on the uh, um, M1. It's a seven foot eight, medium heavy. And what you wanna do with this is you just wanna slow roll it. You wanna bring this thing in nice and slow. You want it to hit structure. And when you feel that structure, um, just pop it up so it can hop over whatever is there. But um, the water's moving, so it's providing action when you're not even reeling, guys. So just real slow and steady seems to win the race with this technique. So again, it's a shallow little trough here, and I'm throwing this because uh, the salad is an issue. I just caught a fish. I don't know why I switch up right after I caught a fish, but um, at the same time, you know, half my casts are coming in with uh, eelgrass, and uh, I think there's more fish in here, and I'd love to give myself a better chance. So I'm feeling the rocks. This rod is super sensitive. You can feel every little bit of structure that you run into. All right, I lost this. I'm gonna go back to Lucky Craft. It's not so bad where I can't use a Lucky Craft. I just caught a fish with it. Let's stick with it. And uh, see if we can make it work. See, these are, the, these are the days where if I skunk or just have a slow day in this kind of condition right now, man, that really bums me out. This, this water right here at this very second is wide open water. If, if the fish are swimming through, it's just crazy time. 
with the Lucky Craft. This is perfect for the Lucky Craft. In my opinion, if I'm not getting bit in this kind of condition, the fish aren't here. See, that was a solid cast. I'm happy with that cast. I'm gonna give it one more and then we gotta move. We gotta find the fish while the water's right. This is, you really gotta put your hard hat on and really focus and be quick, move fast. If fish are around, you'll find out fast. All right, another minute, another hole. So much structure here. See a reef sticking out right there. And then this zone right here is where we'd hope fish are swimming through. Right around it, the hang around structure. I'm standing on a very high sandbar. So I could go all the way out here and reach it with my cast because the water's calm enough. There's a lot of different factors here that don't always allow you to come out come out and hit certain um, landmarks. Ooh, oh, that's fish. Fish on. Oh, he, oh, look at him. He's swimming on top. Fish on, guys. It's a small one. I think it's a bass. Oh, yeah, baby. I'll take it. Not the monster we're looking for, but he's shaking. I think he's bigger than the last one I caught. Yeah, he came out from that structure, all right. I don't want him to dig down deep, so I'm just keeping my rod tip high, and he's just surfing on top right now. Yes, sir. On the Lucky Craft Flashman 0110. And he's a, I think he's a better one than the last one I caught, because this guy is not quitting. And the weight is better, too. He's staying under right now. He don't want to come out. Let's see what we got here. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's uh, probably illegal. I'm not going to measure him. No, not illegal. But definitely bigger than the last one. Another sand bass. Hit the middle treble again. And this one's a little complicated here. There we go. And he's gone. Normally, guys, I wouldn't be making this video, but I've decided to go ahead and make this one. Uh, why? You, you go on YouTube and almost every video seems to be someone's personal best catch. And uh, that's not reality, man. The reality is uh, the grind and putting forth the effort and just trying um, and never quitting. And I promise you guys, as long as you stick with that and you don't quit, it will work out in the end and you will have those epic days. And uh, to me, that's what makes fishing such a beautiful, beautiful sport. So thanks so much for hanging out with me, guys. I really, really appreciate it. And uh, we're gonna make more surf fishing videos. Until next time, tight lines.